Top 10 Facts About Universe The universe is the vast and complex system of all matter, energy, and space that exists. It includes everything from subatomic particles to galaxies and beyond. The universe is believed to have originated with the Big Bang, a massive explosion that occurred approximately 13.7 billion years ago. Since then, the universe has been constantly expanding and evolving, with galaxies forming, stars being born and dying, and various celestial phenomena occurring. Scientists have been studying the universe for centuries, and while much has been learned, there is still much to be discovered and understood about this vast and mysterious system. But before we begin, please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for such amazing and informative videos. 10. There is a supermassive black hole at the heart of every galaxy. It is currently believed that most, if not all, galaxies have a supermassive black hole at their center. These black holes are millions or even billions of times more massive than the Sun, and they have a powerful gravitational pull that can warp space and time. As matter falls into the black hole, it forms an accretion disk that emits intense radiation and jets of particles. These emissions can be observed by astronomers using telescopes and other instruments. The exact mechanisms by which supermassive black holes form and evolve are still being studied, but it is thought that they play a crucial role in the growth and evolution of galaxies. 9. 95% of the universe is invisible. It is currently believed that approximately 95% of the universe is composed of dark matter and dark energy, both of which are invisible and have never been directly detected. Dark matter is a type of matter that does not interact with light or other forms of electromagnetic radiation, and it is thought to exert a gravitational pull on visible matter, such as stars and galaxies. Dark energy, on the other hand, is a force that is causing the expansion of the universe to accelerate, and its nature is not yet fully understood. The remaining 5% of the universe is made up of visible matter, which includes stars, planets, gas, dust, and other celestial objects. However, even within this visible matter, much of it is difficult to detect or observe directly, such as black holes, neutron stars, and other exotic objects. 8. The universe was born. There was a time when the universe did not already exist, it came into being. Everything that is, including matter, energy, space, and even time, came into existence 13.82 billion years ago in a massive explosion that is now known as the Big Bang. The fireball started to spread, and eventually, out of the debris that was cooling off, galaxies eventually formed. Galaxies are large islands of stars, of which our Milky Way is just one of an estimated 2 trillion total. The hypothesis of the Big Bang can be summarized as follows. It doesn't matter how you look at it, the concept that the universe came into existence out of nothing, that there was a day without a the day before, is completely insane. On the other hand, this is what the evidence suggests to us. 7. Most of the stuff in the universe has repulsive gravity. As a result of the Big Bang, the universe is expanding, and the galaxies that make up the universe are fragmenting and flying apart like fragments of cosmic shrapnel. The only force that should be at work is gravity, which works as a web of elastic between the galaxies and causes them to move at a more leisurely pace. But in 1998, researchers made a startling discovery. Contrary to all predictions, they discovered that the expansion of the universe is actually accelerating. Nearly two-thirds of the mass energy in the universe can be attributed to something called, dark energy. The notion that gravitation is a bad thing, which is commonly taught in schools, is therefore out of date. It is windy across the majority of the universe. 6. The sun is producing only a third of the neutrinos expected. Put your thumb up. Every second, 100 billion billion neutrinos pass through your thumbnail. Before 8.5 minutes, they were in the sun's center. Neutrinos from the sun come from the nuclear reactions that make sunlight. When Ray Davis put 100,000 gallons of cleaning fluid down a mine in South Dakota to find them, he thought he would be able to confirm the usual picture of the sun. Instead, he only found a third of the neutrinos he was looking for. This was confirmed by later experiments and led to him winning the Nobel Prize. Neutrinos are ghostly subatomic particles that live in a weird state called quantum superposition. This is like an animal that is all three at the same time. As they move away from the sun, they change between being electron neutrinos, muon neutrinos, and tau neutrinos. This is why experiments that can only detect one type only pick up a third of the expected number. 5. Most planetary systems are different from ours. Scientists hate to say that our place in the universe is special in any way. Special is unlikely, while typical is likely. 
that the fact that planets have been found around other stars, more than 3,500 at last count, has caused a headache. None of them are like ours. There are super compact planetary systems where all the planets orbit closer to their parent star than Mercury does to the Sun. There are planets with the mass of Jupiter that must have moved closer to the Sun. There are planets whose orbits are very elliptical, like those of comets. There are also planets that go around their stars the wrong way. Since it is thought that planets form when gas and dust swirl around a new sun in the same direction, this last discovery is especially hard to explain. 4. The first gravitational waves detected came from a binary black hole system nobody predicted. On September 14, 2015, this was the first time that gravitational waves were seen on Earth. Einstein predicted in 1916 that the merging of two black holes in a faraway galaxy would cause these ripples in the fabric of space and time. In short, the power that came out was 50 times more than what all the stars in the universe put together. But this wasn't the only thing about the event that made people gasp. Each of the black holes had about 30 suns worth of mass. Since a black hole is what's left after a star goes supernova and sends most of its mass into space, the stars that came before it must have been at least 300 solar masses. These kinds of stars are very rare now. But the two black holes could have been the remains of the first stars, which are thought to have been huge, or they could have been the first black holes, which formed in the Big Bang's fireball. 3. We appear to be alone. About billions of stars can be found in the universe. Most likely, there are more planets than stars. In spite of how big the universe is, we only know of one place where life exists, Earth. Even though scientists have looked for signs of intelligent life from other planets, nothing has been found. In fact, there is a good case that if these kinds of life exist out there, we should not only see signs of them, but they should already be here. But the lack of evidence is not proof that something is not there. From single cells to complex life took 3 billion years, which shows that this step is hard. It's possible that technological civilizations like ours are rare and only last for a short time. If there are any others, we may have missed them by millions or billions of years. The other possibility is that the one closest to us is just too far away to see. 2. The boundary of the solar system ends in a spherical cloud known as the Oort cloud. This is an imaginary sphere that encompasses the entire solar system and is made up of entities made of ice. It is the point beyond which the sun's gravitational influence is no longer felt. This anticipated region is thought to be located about 2,000 to 100,000 astronomical units, oh, from the Sun. Because the Oort cloud is located so far away from the Sun, it is frequently affected by the orbital forces of the Milky Way galaxy as well as those of other stars that are moving through space. Because of how far away the Oort cloud is, researchers have not been able to observe any of its contents. 1. Massive stars end their lives through supernova explosions. It is fact that massive stars end their lives through supernova explosions. When a massive star runs out of fuel in its core, it can no longer support its own weight against gravity, and the core collapses in on itself. This collapse generates intense heat and pressure, causing the outer layers of the star to explode outward in a powerful supernova explosion. The explosion releases a tremendous amount of energy and creates heavy elements that are dispersed into space, which can eventually become part of new stars and planets. Supernova explosions can be some of the most energetic and violent events in the universe, and they are responsible for many of the elements that make up our bodies and the world around us. The study of supernovae is an important area of research in astrophysics, and scientists use these explosions as a tool to study the properties of matter and the dynamics of the universe. Did you learn something new about the universe that you didn't know before? We hope you did. So, if you're interested in learning more amazing facts, Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to get notified by our new videos. Please like and share the video. Don't forget to comment down your views on this. Thanks for watching till the end.